66 back with another big bang. We've got a wall full of fame. That's you guys. And we can't wait to celebrate it with you. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. A really, 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 really big week. Started all the way back, which feels like a lifetime ago at Wimbledon. Mm -hmm. We were back at Canizaro Park, for those of you that weren't there. Gorgeous, gorgeous Wimbledon Common. And we also were at Battersea on Thursday for our second Thursday event at Battersea. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice to have the little introduction to the Thursdays. It makes the weekend arrive a bit quicker, I think. When you have an event on a Thursday. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Instead and of Men on Monday, now it's Men on Friday. Yeah, because you can have both. Yeah. And then also double events at the weekend as well, as we were at Brixton on Sunday and Velo Park on Saturday. So four events in one week for you to yeah. get your teeth stuck into. Not forgetting um, our event, when was I yesterday? Wicked Victoria. <laughs> That's where I was. There's Victoria. too many to remember. <laughs> In seven days, that's five events. And we good. really treated you. Good week. Lots Great to week. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go straight in because we have got so much to celebrate. And I'm going to kick us off in the top here with the lovely Simon Emmett. Simon, we love you. You are always so positive, so happy when you come to the events. It's infectious. So please don't ever stop coming. Um, but you're on a real streak at the moment. You've been doing so well. You only recently got a 10k PB. And at Velo on Saturday, Went and bagged yourself a new course PB. I say course PB because anyone that doesn't know Velo, it's not the flattest, so it's not the easiest of courses. So to get a PB there, an overall PB is actually a real challenge, but to get a course PB is still worth celebrating. So yeah, he ran the half in 1.44.05. Still a very, very impressive time. And it was hot. It was very hot on Saturday. Um, and on a concrete, nice, shiny, black, concrete path, means you get the heat from both directions. So yeah, massive, massive well done for that. And I love your pictures, you're always like, yeah. Yeah, I love we them. We can really feel yeah. them. Yeah, always <laughs> cracking photos. <laughs> yeah, massive, well done, Simon. Well done. See you soon. Good job. Now, sticking with the theme of the lovely Velo Park on Saturday, down here we have the lovely Will, who joined us for his first half marathon. And when I say first, it's always just incredible to announce that someone's done something for the first <laughs> time. But it doesn't matter because he absolutely went out there, smashed it, enjoyed it, smiling from ear to ear, and he came away with a time of 1.39.57. Wow, for a first half as well. Yeah, hey girl. That's big, impressive. So Will, absolutely incredible run. Um, we look forward to seeing you. Or maybe like a course like where we were at yesterday at um, Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. That's a great course, nice and flat. But if you can get 139.57 mm. at Lee Valley, then anything is possible. Mm. So well done. Yeah, massive, massive, well done. And on Sunday, as Tatila said, we were back at Brockwell Park in Brixton. Um, we love it there. It's beautiful. Um, and we were joined by Michael who did the 5k and of course, because it's the Wall of Fame, he bagged himself a new PB of 28.45. So yeah, massive well done. That's also a course that is a little bit tricky. It's not the easiest, it's not the flattest. Um, so yeah, massive well done to get yourself a PB on that course. Um, it was always good to see you and see those smiley faces over the line. I love it. When people cross the line with a PB, it's like you can just feel it. Yeah, nice. there's a certain mm -hmm. emotion and a certain feeling that just happens. And yeah, you were one of them at the weekend, Michael. So massive, massive well done. Woohoo, well done. Good job. And that's another one that's not easy to get a PB on as well. Um, if you guys who have joined us at Brockwell Park before, you will know just how Michael was feeling at that very moment when he crossed the finish line. So yeah, well done. So as mentioned, our first, well, say our second actually, Wimbledon Chase the Sun event at Kenzaro Park last Wednesday. It was ages ago, but it really was just a week. Um, the lovely Misha up here, so Misha joined us in the 10k distance and he completed his first ever, not distance, but race. Woo! His first ever race. Welcome, Misha, yes, to welcome the family. <laughs> so, good job on you and obviously that will be a PB because it's your first ever race. So, keep us posted. And also, another course which I feel that if you were to pick a different one maybe, mm -hmm. like Battersea or Victoria, that PB will be smashed into yeah. a million pieces. So keep us tuned and we hope to see you again soon. Good mm. luck. Yay. In the middle here, so we on, we're back at Battersea Park on Thursday for another Thursday evening race. 
Um, and I've got to say, the caption doesn't match the picture for me today, Mohammed. You went out and you smashed your 10k PB in 50-51 and you're not smiling? <laughs> what? You absolutely smashed it. I really hope that that's just because you were so overwhelmed with what had just happened that that smile couldn't creep out. I'm, yeah, massive well done anyway, but I, I feel like there's a smile in there and we need to see it because that is... A PB. It's a PB. It should be grinning from ear to ear. Massive. We will do it for you. So nice. massive, massive well done oh. on your PB anyway. Good job. Well done. <laughs> I didn't even realise this one. It does really tickle me. Oh, well done, Mohammed. <laughs> anyway, on to our next lovely Wall of Famer. We have the lovely Catherine who joined us last night for our first Chase the Sun at Victoria Park in ages. Yeah. It's been so long. Two I think years. The, yeah. I think it was what, July 2019 was our last Victoria. So it's been such a long time. So it kind of felt like real nice to be back there. I think even not Chase the Sun, the last time we were there was March 2020. Mm. So it's been a good sort of like 15, 16 months. Um, quick maths. Um, <laughs> but yes, the lovely Catherine joined us down here. And as mentioned, Victoria is a great course. If you're looking to get those PBs, wide paths, very flat. Um, completely concrete, no potholes or anything you've got to swerve or miss. Mm -hmm. um, it's just great to be there. And she got a brand new shiny 10K PB of 46.16. And she just looks ecstatic. She's got her sunglasses on, her medal in hand, and she just looks great. Yeah. I mean, you look awesome. It looks fresh. fresh. I know, fresh and amazing. <laughs> Anyone would have thought you stole the medal beforehand to take the yeah. <laughs> The amount of times we get asked yeah. that, we always put the medals out so you can see them and people yeah. are like, Take medal and go home. You could, but you wouldn't like the feeling when you got home. So, Catherine, well done, absolutely smashed it. And hopefully, you'll join us as we are back at Victoria for our Chase the Sun next month. Mm -hmm. um, so, stay tuned, and we hope to see you there so we can cheer you on to hopefully another PB. Well done. Massive well done. And last but never least on the Wall of Fame this week is Glenn up in the top corner here. So, we've thrown it back. This was at Bellow Park on Saturday. He did the half marathon, and I don't know the time, but it was obviously impressive because he smashed his PB by nine minutes. Nine minutes! It takes me that long to run a mile. I know, as well. So yeah, massive, massive well done. That's a huge PB, and you've obviously been doing a lot of training, and it has clearly paid off. So yeah. Kudos to you on that, Glenn. And maybe, who knows, as Tatila said, on a flatter course, you're not even more minutes off that PB. That's yeah. impressive. Very, very impressive. Wow, well done, Glenn. Good job. Amazing. Well, as we always say, another full board of mm -hmm. smiley, minus Mohammed, faces <laughs> <laughs> um, that have tackled new distances, first races. Um, there's only so much more we can give you, and we're going to bring it to you this weekend. Mm -hmm. Although we do not have a Saturday event, so for most of you, you'll be like, ugh. But for a lot of you, <laughs> you'll be able to have a live on Saturday. Yeah. How nice is that? Enjoy gonna it. It's going to be gorgeous. But we are back with a ban on Sunday as we are back at Goodwood Motor Circuit. For those who haven't joined us there before, it's down in the gorgeous Chichester. Um, and we always seem to that. I'm not going to jinx it. Every last time we've been there, last few times, it's been great weather. Mm -hmm. um, it's been real nice. Uh, so we can't wait touch to get back there. Touch wood. There. Yeah. <laughs> touch wood. So if you still fancy joining us, and you can join us for the marathon distance, you can join us for the half marathon distance. We've got the 20 mile, the 10K and the 5K yeah. for you to get your hands on um, this weekend if you fancy it. And of course, what comes with events comes with a lovely medal. So this, of course, this is just the 10K distance. But this medal is what you guys will be getting on Sunday if you are joining us and your ribbon will change per whichever distance you do. And you also will be getting yourselves some run-through kit socks as well on when you finish. So obviously you have to work hard to get the big bit of shiny and then we'll be giving you a pair of run-through kit socks. socks. You can just Fresh whip off those sweaty socks. Out of the packet. Get the fresh Come into Goodwood this Sunday. Be there or be square. I oh, can't wait. Soon, near you soon. Oh, oh yeah. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that you were just going to queue into an advert break or something then. Uh, <laughs> but no, we can't wait. It's going to be awesome. I will be there along with most of the team. So do come and say hello. And if you feel a little bit nervous, we'll be there to sort of push you along the way. Literally push you onto that track. <laughs> because you're doing it. You've got no choice. You're there now. 
So yeah, come and see us, come and see us take photos, let us know how you get on. Um, but yeah, yeah. So one event, but it's going to be a cracker. It's going to be a good one. Well, it's technically time. five events in one day, because yeah, so many distances. True. So it's, yeah, going to be good. And of course, mm -hmm. we've done the medals, so we know what's next. I'm going to leave us with a quote of the week. And I like this one. I really like this one because it's something that I have to remind myself all the time. Um, so, just going to go straight in. Continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. So yeah, nothing is, well, I say nothing. You can always find something that feels perfect, but it's not always perfect. And we know that if you just keep going, keep going, keep going, you will eventually find that next level and you will find your perfect and progress makes perfect. So you've just got to keep going. You've got to keep going. It really won't happen overnight. And these guys, I'm sure, have their own stories and journeys that have got them to those PBs and got them on the start line. And it really is a journey. So you've just got to go with it. Ups, downs, bad days, good days, they happen. We're all human. So yeah, don't ever forget that you've just got to take those steps. Keep improving. Progress really does make perfect. So yeah, continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. There we go. I can not agree more. And I say that because it takes me a while to do things. <laughs> so I completely agree with that quote. Yeah. But yeah. no, wow, that's wow. fantastic. And that rounds us up, guys, for episode 66. And what comes after 66 is 67. <gasps> One step closer to that 100. Yeah. But we will be back for that one episode closer to 100 next week and we'll celebrate all of your results, whether they be virtual or mm -hmm. if you've tackled one of the distances with us at Goodwood this Sunday. Let us know. Keep tagging us on all your photos so we can find you, cheer for you, cheer along the way, celebrate what you've done. Um, and yeah, we hope to see your face on yeah. this board soon. Very, very soon. See you later.